Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, your home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Tish Talk. And tonight for my interviewee, um, we're gonna sit down and have an art chat with my friend Laura from Fluid Art by Laura Berger. Oops, hang on, there we go. <laughs> Push the wrong button. <laughs> It scared Hello. me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. That's my problem. I, I, you know, I need a new mouse, I think. <laughs> so let's go in the chat here and I'm going to read off who's all in here. And we'll say hello to Evelyn and Jason and Jay. And Tracy is here. Hello, Tracy. And Sue Ashworth is here. Brooke says, what up? <laughs> <laughs> and Doris is here. So hello, hello to all of you. Yes, hello. Thank you for coming. So can you tell us what you're going to be working on tonight? Um, yeah, I have, uh, I think these are eight inch, probably eight inch, uh, glass trivets that I got at the dollar store. Okay. And they have a little bit of texture on them. And one of them, I think I'm going to do a flip cup in blues and greens, or maybe a straight pour. I'm not sure yet. And then one of them I'm going to do in pinks and coppery colors and red. Oh, awesome. Let's see, how, awesome. Let's see what it looks like. See what kind of shenanigans we can come up with. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Heather from Heather Made Her Art has joined us. Hello, hello. And Cynthia from Hi, My Boxes Baby Cakes has joined us. Monica Hi, and Roxy and Daphne. Oh, goodness, the gang's all here. <laughs> and tonight, while I chit chat with Laura here, um, I'm going to try doing some chameleon cells. We're going to give this another go because the last one's about one out of the three that I tried turned out okay. So <laughs> we're going to try this again. So here we go. Um, let's start with the, the most rudimentary question. Um, what is the name of your business, if you have one, and where can we find you? Well, the name of my business is Fluid Art by Laura Berger. And you can find me on Facebook. Um, I would say you can find me on Instagram, but... I rarely do that. <laughs> and, I don't either. Um, you can find me on my own site. I do have a shop on my site. I have a few products in it, not a lot. I've been very lazy about that. You can just find Laura Berger on Facebook and find me that way too. Awesome. So where are you located right now and where did you grow up? Um, I'm located... In a bedroom, an unknown bedroom. <laughs> no, I'm in. Did you like that? Yes. <laughs> did, did that give you? Did that give you a clue? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're you're just in an undisclosed area. <laughs> yeah, I'm hiding. No, I'm in northern Arizona, and I was born and raised in the San Fernando Valley, in California. Very cool. So yes, I'm I'm a valley girl. Oh, totally. So, for yes, sure. Totally. <laughs> for sure. They're making a remake of that. I just can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder how they're gonna put the Nicolas Cage movie Valley Girl, like Nick Cage's first movie. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll find out sooner or later. I just but I, so that I, I was born and raised there, but I've been in northern Arizona for uh, probably about 26 years. Oh, wow. I left Cal I left California after the Northridge earthquake within about four months. Okay. So, I don't I know how no long choice. ago that was. Uh, that was a, it's been a while. 25. Okay. 26, 28, somewhere around there. Okay. I just know, I, I remember there being an earthquake out there. Like that was a fairly oh, large one. Yep. It was good. I mean, the one time I was in California, there was an earthquake. It wasn't very big, 
just enough to startle a person that you know is from Minnesota and has never had something like that. You know. <laughs> yeah, you would only want a small one if you weren't a regular. <laughs> yeah, it probably they'd be like, "Oh, this is just a regular Tuesday." <laughs> yeah. Where where I lived was about sixty miles from the epicenter, which is a good distance. Yeah. And it it took a double bed with two people and flung it up in the air. Oh wow. So yeah. It was not good. <laughs> oh wow. So So are you are you settled into Arizona though, no earthquakes, but the you know, Arizona has its own things too though. They have sand you guys have sandstorms and all that kind of like lightning actually, actually we're we're a mile high city, so we're up. We have monsoon rains, we don't get the dust storms. Um, we have four seasons here, so yeah, it's nice. Right now we have like 35 mile an hour winds for two days. It's just beautiful. Oh, yeah. That sounds stunning. It is. <laughs> try, try chasing a turkey in 35 mile an hour winds. Oh, so, I, I, no. <laughs> yeah. So oh. we're out in the country and I love it. Yeah. 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 It's nice to have land. Oh, yeah. And neighbors that are, you know, two and a half to three acres away. It's it's nice. Very nice. Nice and quiet. Um, For the most part, yeah. I mean, there's not much traffic. Yeah. Everybody has either two and a half to, uh, to at least a minimum of two and a half acres. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So. I like it here. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Really. Yeah, I would love to be somewhere out in the country, but I live in the city and just got to deal with it for now. But <laughs> just for now. No, it's all good. I mean, I, lo I love the city. I love being able to, you know, go to Walmart. And, well, not that I go to Walmart all that much anymore, but, um, you know, being able to go to, like, we had come food which is a grocery store and that was a it's 24 hours or it used to be for before the whole virus thing started right. and um it was actually pretty pretty nice you know i grew up in a small town so totally a, a different aspect and i think we're getting feedback from you Dang it. Um, that make it better that made it better can you still hear me yes <laughs> oh, she's like yes kind of <laughs> all right as a creative what helps you find and or keep motivation well um i'm pretty good at self-motivating myself um my husband and i own our own business so if we don't work, we don't live. This is not the way I make a living. And I also do graphic design for a living. And again, if I do not stay creative and make things, I do not sell. So I'm pretty good motivator of myself. Um, and I just, I, I really try to take what's outside my door, you know, the plants, the colors, right. Um, the flowers, we've been buying flowers and planting it for my mom because my mom lives right next to where we take care of her. So, you know, family, nature, events, um, fabric, you name it. I'm inspired by it. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't take much. Well, and, and I know you know, what's that? I said, and I know if I don't do it, I don't make any money. <laughs> well, that's kind of a motivator right there, too. And I get that. Yep. Got to keep busy. And and then and 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 somehow I do it. Yeah. I don't, I, <clears throat> I've always had to work for someone else because I, um, never had the opportunity to work for myself and now I'm, I'm getting that opportunity of sorts so 
it's kind of nice, but it's sometimes it's really hard to stay motivated and stay focused and not go off yeah. on a tangent somewhere. Well, yeah, and I think you learn you learn as you go. Yeah. Or at least I do. I learn as I go as to what needs to get done and I of course I have a task at hand and if I don't do it. Right. Like I said, I don't eat. If I don't answer the phone, he's not out of the house and he's not working. So I just have to keep motivating both right. of us. <laughs> right. Which is not as easy as it sounds. No, I can't imagine that it's, would be easy. Yeah, right now we're not working much at all because of the virus. Right. And like I said, we do take care of my mom and she's 87 and I would prefer she dies of natural causes than from this thing. Right. Absolutely. So I'm going to do a ring pour on this one or try, let's say. <laughs> these are, these are not my go-to colors. So it should prove to be interesting. Uh, it's always good to to test yourself and go to other colors that you're not accustomed to. Yes, I would agree. I spent a fortune on other colors. I should be using them, right? Right. Oh, hey, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do this. we got to display our names. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got it? Got it. Now, now we know who's talking, or kind of who's talking. Who's doing what on where? You um, know, I don't. Clue. Well, yeah, because you can't see. <laughs> can't see. Oh, Heather asks, um, I've never poured on glass before. Is the underside pretty too? Um, the underside will be pretty. So, yes, it is. That's that's kind of cool. You get two pieces of art for one price. <laughs> you do, but what's even better is, like I said, you can buy these. At, I think it's Dollar Tree. Okay. They already have cushions on the bottom. Okay. And they're in the cooking section, and they're a buck, a dollar. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so even if even if you just want to experiment, you know, and play around, a yes. dollar is not going to break the bank. No, and then, like I said, after it dries in about a month, I will resin them, and they will be trivets. Awesome. So. Awesome. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's no different than doing a tile, in all honesty. Right. But yeah. Um, Monica asked, um, will you resin over the top of those? I definitely, if, if they turn out, yes. If they don't, they'll be in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, if, if they are appealing to me, yes, they will get resin on them. Okay. That is, that is the plan. That is the plan, Stan. It is. Okay. So um, do you have any tricks or tips to give to our viewers um, that you use to attain the goals that you set? Oh my goodness. Do I have goals? Um, <laughs> well, you want to eat, so that would be a goal. <laughs> yeah, well, um, when it comes to my artwork, um, really, I think the only goal I have at this point is that I try and do at least something every week. Um, would I love to be able to make a living off of this? You betcha. Um, I don't know if I'll get there. Um, we're Because we're in a small town, it's not the easiest thing. Right. Um, that's, that's my biggest. I was in a little consignment store and did fairly well, but she closed like just in time for the virus. Oh, geez. And um, I know, well, it's probably a good thing for her. Right. Um, but because we are near Prescott, which is a very artsy place, and, and we're not too far from Sedona, getting into a gallery 
is not easy and they take so much of the money. Yes, so, they do. Um, if I can get into a local art show, which I've done in the past. Right. Um, I should be, I should, you know, the, my goal is to sell some of the stuff that's piling up in this room. Right. If in the undisclosed in bedroom. <laughs> yeah, in the in undisclosed spare room that is no longer spare for anybody to stay in. But yeah. So the, the my goal really is to to be creative at all times. And, right. and really and that's with my art with my digital designing um you know with my gardening you name it. Right. Okay, now an earbud is ready to pop out. <laughs> yeah, I have I over the ear headset just for that reason because I have really small ears and I can never, I have yet to find a pair of earbuds that stay in my ear. I'm still working on it though. Yeah. In fact, I think I found, I'm going to try a pair and then um, I thought I, I had some recommended to me and they're very inexpensive. So I'm going to see what happens and if they're good then um the people that are on Arapalooza for me a lot or something like that I'll, I'll our people who want are interested in them will get them hooked up that's kind of my thing right there oh, good. So. I, I would tell you what the, who makes these but I cannot remember but they were they weren't too bad in price I think these are like 20 bucks oh well, these were more than 20. I know that. But I did not buy the iPhone ones, which were like $200. Yes, iPhone stuff is insanely expensive. Well, I actually kind of for a pink guy, kind of like that. But it's very pink. Or very pink. And how are you coming along on your project, Nissy? Oh, uh, it's looking okay. <laughs> Just okay? Yeah. The first one turned out okay. I, I mean, the thing that the, the chameleon says is you got to kind of wait and see what happens. Yeah, that's true. It takes a little time, a little time yep. for them to develop. Yeah. And I'm not real good at swiping. I mean, I am. Oh. But... We'll see what happens. I'm not. If it if depends on what I'm trying to do. Huh? It's one of the, it, um, it depends on what I want to do, you know. If I want it to be, like, really wispy and pretty, then it usually doesn't work out. <laughs> it depends on what I use, too. Yeah. Well, I will tell you, the last big one I did, which I think is my last video, was a swipe. And I have only, that was only my second swipe ever. Oh. And um, I don't, I didn't do very well. I mean, it turned out pretty, but it wasn't as easy as I certainly thought it should have been. Yeah, it's kind of funny how that works. It's, you know, it's kind of kooky. You can tell this one that hasn't been opened in a while. I don't think I have enough layers of color on this. Whoops, no. No. We're going to do one more anyway, so I have an idea for that one. <laughs> We're just going to do a hodgepodge of color. Because that's what I said. <clears throat> what I said earlier is if they don't turn out, I just soak them in some water and clean them up. And, and that's what I Yeah, that's what I'll do too. But I do like this one. I don't know if anybody else will, but I do. Well, that's part of it because you've got to like well, it in order to sell it, you know. It's not, yeah, it's not necessarily my jam, but it works. Hey, that's all what it is. Yep. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, another question that I, I ask people is how do you seek out opportunities and ways to grow? Oh, you know, well, the first way I grew was, hello, Brenda. Um, I did a collab with Brenda. We were, we used basically the same colors and 
did a video each and that was really fun. Um, I've yet to do anything else really um, with anyone, mainly because um, time. Right. Unfortunately. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I think if I can just keep up with the videos, which I wasn't doing, um, which I plan on getting back to. Um, and, and I'd love to collab with a couple people. I think that that would be really, really fun. Um, um, and build the channel a bit. Yep. That's kind of one of the things that I've been contemplating doing at the Haven is for people that don't necessarily want to go live, but still have, um, <clears throat> still have a want to grow their channel is to do like a collaboration, like a, a, a group wide collaboration. Yeah. yeah. And see I what happens. A, yeah, I was, I will tell you the one I did with Brenda. Hi Brenda. Um, <laughs> she's still in there. Uh, it was really fun and they turned out completely different. Completely. Yeah. I mean, you would have never known. Um, right. That we basically use the same colors. And I believe the same technique or what we thought was the technique, right. which neither one of us had ever, ever done. And it just turned out really cool. That was fun. I enjoyed myself. Is that on a playlist on your channel then? Uh, it's not. I don't have play, um, enough videos per playlist yet. But okay. yeah, it's on, it is on. It is definitely on there. Okay. So yeah. As long as it's on there and we can find it, because now you know you're going to pique your curiosity, and we'll go to Brenda's. Did you do separate videos, or did you do a video and then just post it both to the same? How did you do that? We each did our own videos and posted it about the same time. Okay. So, okay, now I'm going to try and flip this. Haha. -ha. I did it. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> as it floats off the glass stay there so stay what has there. been your greatest struggle just in life in arts and anything you know i haven't really had that many biggest struggles i will tell you the biggest struggle in life that i have is the one i have right now which is caring for my mom okay uh, at 87, she's sad in her ways. <laughs> um, um, her memory's not like it was. Um, you know, I can ask, you know, she'll say, well, I hurt. And, and I'll say, she'll say, well, my back makes a noise. And I'll say, okay, what kind of noise does your back make? And she'll go, it goes, blah, 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 blah. I go, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, that's not what a back, a back does not make that noise. So it's kind of, you know, dealing with a four-year-old or yeah. eight-year-old at times. Yeah. So that's probably been my biggest struggle. I, mean, I love her and I'm so thrilled she's here. Don't get me wrong. Right. Um, I didn't want her any other place. And I'm right. so happy she made the decision and offering for years. But that's probably my biggest struggle. Right. Is how to keep her... How to keep her busy and motivated. Um, we did have care, a caregiver come in, but we have, since the virus was going around and this caregiver was in multiple houses. Right. Um, that just wasn't, you know, going to work for me. Right. So it's keeping her busy. Today, for example, was, can you fix your computer, which is my iPad, iPad Pro that I'm amazed she can even log into. <laughs> and she said, you, you, something's happened to the program. And I said, well, nothing happened. It's you. Oh, no, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> so that's my biggest struggle. Just, yes, you, know. you did. You touched something. So I fixed it for her and she was thrilled. And oh, my God, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now just not to, on the other one. So that's really been my biggest struggle, probably. Okay has you know or life difficulties i should say I well mean, that's we've all a, had struggles 
Well, yeah. And, and sometimes, you know, knowing that other people have the same struggle, even if they don't know you, like personally, right. just knowing that someone else is going through that similar struggle, it, it helps to know that you're not alone. And that's why I asked that. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. um, so yeah. we've, we've heard, we've learned about your greatest struggle. What's been your greatest accomplishment? Having my son. Aww. Having my son. I asked for a little boy. I got a little boy. Big tilt. Um, that's that really is my biggest accomplishment is having my son. It holds your son. He is cheap. He well, not, I make it sound like he's young. Uh, he will be thirty-eight. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not a youngster. <laughs> <laughs> well, you talk like one, so. <laughs> okay, I think the gold kind of took over here. Um, yeah, so I would say that would be my biggest accomplishment. That's awesome. That's would awesome. I think, I think that's, yeah. you know, that's a lot of people's greatest accomplishment i know brooke every time someone says that <laughs> and she did she's like tish you know what i'm gonna say because <laughs> brooke said yeah. brooke took it as as more of a of a of a like an artistic accomplishment because her well, i know her and i know her daughter is her is her biggest accomplishment but she took it as more of an art thing and i still love her we still love you brookie <laughs> Yeah, I, she wants a do-over. She wants a do-over. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I will say my my biggest art accomplishment was last year's Mother's Day's um, art festival that I went to and practically sold everything. Oh, that's awesome! And that is the best feeling. Within hours, I mean, it was almost scary. Wow! So. That's good. That's, That's so awesome. Probably the best art accomplishment besides having a career doing graphic design. So, okay, I would say that's pretty much gold. Maybe oh. a little blue. <laughs> Cheryl is here. Elisa is here. Carol is here. Wow, all these people. And look, and Brenda showed up. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm so late. Hi, everyone. <laughs> you were being talked Brenda, about, I've been Brenda. Saying hello all night. <laughs> and if i missed anybody let me say hello and if you're new to our channel let me say welcome thank you for joining us um if um you're enjoying our vibe and want to join a little artsy creative tribe all you got to do is click that subscribe y'all and we go live uh, I go live <laughs> six days a week and we have all kinds of people and all kinds of um, wonderful artists in our community here. Um, so if you're just hovering about and watching, make sure to say hi in the chat so we can welcome you. Okay, so last like real question is what would you tell 20 year old you? Um, don't get married at 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and get no. to that. Um, <laughs> Hear you loud and clear, you sister. You know what I would tell 20 -year -old? Yeah, I guess if I could tell, if I could tell my 20s, you know, something, whatever, is that I should have, I should have followed my heart. Right. And wanting to, to be an artist and that that came very young um i can remember being in i think seventh grade and i had a wonderful art teacher and, and we were doing work with uh ink and mm -hmm. i drew an old victorian house and um one of my dad's realtor friends came over and actually paid me I think three hundred dollars. Oh wow! And that's a lot of money way back, way back then. Yeah, three hundred dollars is a lot of money right now. <laughs> I, yeah, well, that's true too. And um, true, but my 
my dad was just, you're, you know, you're not going to be a struggling artist. You, you know, he wanted to be, to be a golfer. And when I almost knocked the children's down the street ear off, he gave that up. But then it was like, you know, you're 5'11", you can model. And, you know, and so I just did what he, I did what he wanted and I should have not done listened you, to him. Done what was in your heart, yeah. not what you were told to do. But we had that mindset, yeah. you know, I think, I think that's what a lot of people have in their life is they, we have this mindset that we have to do what our parents tell us, you right. know, so because you they know, take the time to back, raise us and whatever. Yeah. If I could go back, I would not have done all the things I did and I would have followed my heart. But, you know, you did what you did what you did and you learned and became the person that you are, but it still would have probably been a little bit different, you know, if you would have followed your heart and still made mistakes because that's how we, you know, attain wisdom. So wisdom and heartache and all those other things. But no, I mean, I don't regret any decisions except for getting married at 18. But um, yeah, I did the same thing. Yeah. So I mean, it lasted. I, I was only with him for six years, but it lasted a whole six months, about six hours. That was it. It was over. Yeah. Um, anyway. But, you know, again, that that was a lesson learned. Right. I mean, but yeah. Okay. I have a feeling this one's going to go in the water. Uh-oh. Why? Because it's, it's just really gold. So? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the I one, with, I'm the one with the gold SUV, though, so. <laughs> I know. I know. And I have a copper, copper SUV, so. <laughs> it has to be metallic. It's pre- it's, it is pretty, but. I don't know. I keep looking at it all directions and wondering, yeah, where'd the blue go? Too much gold. But live and learn. Yeah. I do like this one and I'm not a pink person, so well we'll do a close up when we're done here. Because we got one more fun thing to do. Okay, I'm ready. (laughs) I screwed that up. That's okay. No mistakes in art, only happy accidents, right? Right. That's exactly right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to do a different kind of swipe just to see if I could do some different kinds of uh, chameleon cells. So, and I don't know why we're having the issue here with the microphone, but we will figure it out. Um, let me try one thing real quick. Let's see if that takes care of it. I don't know if it will. Doesn't sound like it's going to. But anyway. Oh, and Clara is here too. Hello, Clara. (laughs) Clara says, add some violin. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So we have this this little thing on um, Tish Talk where I do the lightning round. Pew, 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 pew. That's my little sound effect. Because okay. <laughs> I don't I'm have, ready. I mean, there's not really sound to lightning. That's thunder. But hey, we got to, we, we're working with what I got. So um, before we do that, let me put the link for uh, Laura's channel in the chat. It's also in the description box below the video. And that way you guys can go over and subscribe to her channel if you're not already. She has been on Artapalooza before, and hopefully she will be again. Um <clears throat> so what we do is I we have, have what I do is I what's that honey? I have plans to come back. Yes. Awesome sauce. <laughs> um what I do is I ask a this or that question. There's 13 of them and it goes really fast. So be ready. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. I think so. Okay. Number 1, what? Dark chocolate or white chocolate? Dark chocolate. Number two, cat or dog? Cat. Number three, country or rock? Country. 
Number four, organized or chaos? Organized chaos. <laughs> Number five, cheeseburger or taco? Taco. Number six, zoo or aquarium? Zoo. Number seven, comedy or drama? Drama. Number eight, blue or pink? Blue. I love blue. Um, number nine, macaroni salad or potato salad? Potato salad. Number 10, <laughs> everybody says potato salad. I don't like potato salad. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I'm a macaroni salad kind of person. Um, number 10, library <laughs> or museum? Museum. Number 11, car or truck? Uh, I'm going to say car. Okay. Number 12. But I have both. I have both. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have the high, the, the car truck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, number 12 is dawn or dusk? Dusk. Number 13, my favorite question, pancakes or waffles? Uh, I'm going to say pancakes. Okay. I really, I it's neither, but. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I see, I, 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 I'll eat both, but I love waffles. Waffles are my favorite thing. Okay. I don't have a waffle maker, or I would probably say waffles. And it's funny that you asked this question because I probably haven't made pancakes since my child was, he's going to be 38, was probably 14. And uh, <laughs> during, you know, where you couldn't buy everything at the store. Right. I thought, shoot. Oh, you just have to add water to this pancake mix. And I brought home pancakes and we've had them two weeks in a row. And it's like, wow, this is pretty. Why the, haven't we had pancakes before? <laughs> <laughs> so... If I had a waffle maker, I would probably say waffles. Yeah. But I, I don't. I, so. I, I do. I have a Belgian waffle maker, and then I have another waffle maker, too. So, And then I have Krumkaka waffle iron, too. So I have all kinds of stuff. But then I'm a baker, so I have all kinds of kitchen gadgets and things that I don't ever yeah, use I'm because I have I'm... no one to cook for. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not a baker. I mean, I cannot make. If I made bread, I could build a house. <laughs> it's a brick. <laughs> well, we'll just have to, it, there's an easy, easy recipe. It's all in the dough. So, um, that's what they anywho. tell me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, can you bring those up without them dripping all over each other so we can do a close up? Well, I hope so. As I say that. There's a shadow, isn't there? That way. You see it? Yes, I can see it. That's really cool. That one turned out really good. Like I said, I'm not a pink person, but with the copper in there, there's a good sh shimmer. And there's, um, I use, just so you guys know, I use Golden's Fine Copper in that. Art Mines Fairy Dust, which is... It's kind of blah looking, but it has pizzazz to it. Um, this is Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta with some um, iridescence. And I use some golden um, cadmium red medium hue that has a little bit of chrome gold in it. So okay. that's that one. And let me think of, well, who cares? I don't know that I like this one. This is the gold <laughs> puppy. What if you did it's some balloon really smashes in that big gold or something like that to like I'm break not, that up? I'm not Heather. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have tried and tried Heather's balloon and I cannot do it. It would look better this way than if I smashed it. Though I may play with it afterwards, but not. Really? Yeah. 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 See, I fiddle too much. Yeah. Like, I'll try and do balloon smashes, and then it'll it'll look like hell. So then I'll, <laughs> I'll go in and do a chain pull, and then it'll, it'll actually look a little bit better. 
and then I'll go in and do something else, and I just, you know, I I I guess I take I take the the bad and try and make it good, and then make it worse, and then. <laughs> and I well, I mean, I do that. I I guess I I do that too. But I'm not gonna do it live with you. <laughs> Aw. Okay. No. No, she says. But screw you, woman. She says. <laughs> no, you can watch my videos. I make enough. <laughs> trust me. I if you go go look at my swipe, that thing was. I had to triple, double, and triple the speed because it was so long and it wasn't moving. And oh, oh. <laughs> so I fiddled a lot with that one. So I do fiddle. Well, fiddling is good. I'm just not sure about this one yet. So I do fiddle, but I really like the pink one and maybe that's going to grow on me. I don't know. Well, and Michelle says, don't knock the gold green. I think it's just not what you're expecting. It really is interesting. But no, I agree. It's interesting. It is interesting. And maybe when it dries, it'll be more interesting. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we'll oh, let the... Daphne says the man, that the one is so pretty, it looks like a rose. And I have to agree with her. The pink one with the, with the one, copper. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does look really pretty. I didn't... I didn't... Like I said, it's not the colors I normally use. So it was like, okay, what do I put with this? Right. Oh, let's... You know... Because I ha I used all pre-mixed paints. Because I'm finding that... They're just sitting there. So I'm trying to get rid of all my bottled paints and yeah. go back to doing it when I'm ready to paint. Right. So. See, and I, I so do I all my, I mix mine all up all at one time and then use them from a bottle. And because for me, um, it's, it, I find it more relaxing to mix paints and I will just sit and mix paints for like two hours. And I, oh, I that's that kind of like my, that's kind of like my relax moment of the day. And I'll just mix the colors that I need, like four or five colors that I need or five or six or whatever. And then I will have everything ready and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to stress about it. And cause yeah. See, and I find part of the relaxation and doing the paints like you do. Right. And then, and then pouring. So for me, it's just a, a longer process. Right. Or uh, for me, it's more a relaxing process than just pouring from the bottle. Right. Because I, I enjoy making the paint too. So I think everybody does, don't they? I don't know. I think some people are like, I don't like mixing paint. I mean, if you don't like mixing paint, then, you know, buy the pre-made stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah, I've yet to try that stuff. I really have not had the desire to try it. I got I've, a little sample pack. What's uh -huh. that? No, go ahead. Oh, I tried a little sample pack because when they first came out, they had like a little trial set, I think. Um, right. The Art the Artist Loft brand or whatever brand that is. They had the little trial set and I tried the little trial set and I, it just wasn't my bag. I felt like it wasn't my yeah. painting, you know. Because when right. you're mixing the paint, I put all my positive energy into the paint and and thinking of, you know, it's kind of a spiritual thing for me, I guess. It's yeah, like, no, I, kind of, I have to kind of agree with you. I mean, I've tried different mixes. I know you tried your new mix last night. Right. And I tried, um, who was it? Rad Acrylics with, with glue. Right. Now, that was really bizarre. I mean, it turned out nice, but that was... I, I learned really quickly that that's just not my thing. Right. I enjoy the mixture I use now, it's which is pretty like much just flow troll water. Flow troll and water and paint? For, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll put Gak 800 in it. Sometimes look for text varnish, you know, yeah. medium the varnish. But for the See, most I part... I'm pretty much a, yeah. I'm pretty much straight up full troll and paint. Um, for heavy body paints, I use a, a pouring medium, whether or a medium, 
whether it's this um, gloss medium that I just got or um, the Liquitex varnish and pouring medium. Right. Or um, I've been experimenting with the, because I have this gigantic can of paint the the for the blooms the base the whole right. base paint that you have to buy the whole gallon of because they don't have it anything smaller and i'm like well i wonder if this would work for a pouring medium so that's going to be my next experiment because i've been using um the dutch boy version of it and that worked pretty okay um right but we'll see what happens yeah. i don't know i got lots yeah, of experiments i think i, I have everything try. Yeah, I think I have everything to try the bloom, including the $75 bottle Floetrol from Australia. And I'm hoping it really will work. Because <laughs> if not, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's on my list of things to get done in the next couple weeks. Okay. Is to try my hand at that. Well, the only one that I had I success with is, is Johnny's recipe that's the only recipe that i found that i actually have success with i just have to practice this is going to sound really awful for y'all but i have to practice my blowing i was going to say i probably <laughs> suck at blowing <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's what we gotta you know practice the makes perfect right so yeah exactly. i gotta practice, practice, practice my blowing <laughs> yeah oh claire has got to go Hello, goodbye. Bye, Clara. <laughs> Bye. So, um, let's see. Uh, what else? That was it. Um, be sure to, if you're that's not it. already, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, if you're not already subscribed to uh, Laura's channel, please go over and subscribe to her. She's got some great videos on there, and, and um, she's learning like all the rest of us, and she's a very wonderful person, and I appreciate her for coming on Tish Talk tonight. Um, if you are interested in sharing your story and promoting your business, please let me go know. Give me a, a DM, a tweet. Uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, PM on Facebook. Just get a hold of me. Let me know. Hey, I want to share my story. I want to practice going live. I want to do these things. Let me know, and I would love to see you grow. Um, and I will add, she is not scary, and it is a lot of fun. A lot. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. I love it. It is it a is. little scary. It's always a little scary. I've been doing this for almost a year now. And I still get a little nervous, a little butterfly, but I think that's what makes me perform better, you know, as far as um, being more animated and, and being more upbeat is I get a little nervous and I'm like, okay, I got this, you know. So right. um, thank you so much for joining us out there in the, in, in the chat and those of you watching on replay, thank you for joining us. I appreciate you. Remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and happiness. Yes.